Good morning, world. Today is February 11, and it's approximately 11:07 a.m. in the world of Abaco. The reason I said world, because most Bahamians accept anything. And it's okay. So I'm saying it's a more educated population, especially my brothers and sisters that have moved off from Abaco and have already studied and decide not to come back to nothing. I applaud you guys for making that move. It's not gonna make the Bahamas great again nor is it going to make Abaco great again if you guys go and study and stay abroad. But where I sit here in Marshaba, it is the right thing to do and that's what you ought to have done because you come back to nothing. Um, you will get the right degree, the same degree, same qualifications as the foreigners and the law said there should be no competition against foreigners when it comes to Bahamians. But the same law that says that will contradict the other one and hire foreigners to teach you what you already know. As a matter of fact, you may have been smarter than them in school, smarter than them in the workplace. But because you have a black pigmentation, your government look down at you. That happens so often in Baker's Bay and continues to happen in Baker's Bay, the biggest criminal organization to ever enter this country. We look at the fiasco, what was going on with the um, ferry of the blacks, the majority. There ain't no fighting over the white ferry. The white ferry, the government said, they are illegal and continue to do an illegal work until you can straighten yourself out. Governments govern. People look at me, say I'm a freedom fighter, I'm this, that, the other. I consider myself a statesman. Statesman brings something different. Don't accept all the wrong things, but they try to correct the wrong and make it right. You ask yourself, we have already had Lyndon Oscar Pinden as prime minister. Then we had Hubert Ingram two terms. Then we had Perry Christie. Now we have Dr. Hubert Minnis. Ask yourself, Bohemians, are we better off now than we were then? Is either one of these Negro prime minister has ever looked for the poor? One that I knew did was Pinlin. One was particular in putting Bahamian first, Pinlin. And I see why he, people would say the FNM on the other side would say he was corrupt. Uh, because when he said something, his word means something. You look at the present Prime Minister. Has anything he said stood? Anything at all? They were so adamant about the Freedom of Information Act. Oh, that's the first thing we can do. The Bahamian people needs to know what's going on in government. Has that been passed in the law yet? It may have slipped me, but I don't think so. Came down here on Friday to have meetings. And this is very, this is mind boggling to me. Uh, the ferry situation is a public problem. The public of Marshaba is affected, but yet the Prime Minister choose to have a private meeting. Again, this is Kai's opinion and Kai's opinion only. What ought to have happened, according to WCAY, the sensible thing for the Prime Minister of what I've done is to have the two members of Parliament in a public forum, because it's not a private 
problem. It is the public that are being affected. So how you can then now uh, call Baker's Bay in the room? Baker's Bay gonna um, how people to say what is their displeasure, what is Albi's fairy displeasure, and only Baker's Bay one in the room knows what's going on along with the Prime Minister. Then you gonna have Albi's fairy coming and they're gonna have their say. Then you're gonna have Roscoe come and we ain't know what he say yet. We still waiting to hear what happened. But it becomes Roscoe only problem because only him one so far from Friday knows what happened in that meeting. But it ought not be that. People elect these people. So we need to hear from James Albury. We need to hear from Darren, uh, Darren. And we need to hear from the Marshal of the Town Committee with, in conjunction with Dundas and Murphy. Because we three collectively make up uh, the Council of Central Abaco. So why there is the Prime Minister having a private meeting on a public problem? And guess what? Today is Monday, the 11th. That was Friday. And to date, we haven't got one statement from the office of the Prime Minister. So what was solved? What was said? How is Abaco going to benefit? That is what we are looking forward to hearing from our Prime Minister. See, he's not a private Prime Minister as much as he would like to think so. Don't want to answer questions insulting the media, walking away from the hard question. See, Mr. Prime Minister, you put yourself up to be Prime Minister of this democratic country. So therefore, the persons that elect you have the right to know how, what, and when their Prime Minister is acting and feeling. That is democracy. You cannot keep things only to yourself and to the private people who you meet with. Them private people didn't elect you. The vast majority of the public elected this FNM government. It may look good on paper that you want to recruit yourself from being involved in this fiasco. But in the island of Abaco, in the islands of public opinion, these FNMs that supported monetarily and elsewhere to get this FNM the government. They are very, very, very much embarrassed, egg face. And if the election were called today, I bet you they would not go to the poll or they would oppose this government because of the way you have handled a public problem privately. And it seems that the only people that are winning are the criminals of Baker's Bay. Yeah, live, WCAY saying that public business that affect the public should be handled in a public forum with all hands on deck, not a select few in your office and you come at the office and to date there has been no public statement on a public problem. That is wrong. It is unconsiderably wrong and in a way we got to sit by idly and let this continue. Kai Kiss, let the public know what has happened in those private meetings that concern them, the public.